about today is Friday, August 9th, and I went to the Inner Harbor today. Otakon was going on, which I had completely forgotten about until I saw all these cosplayers from my vantage point on the bus. My lab partner is going to Otakon, and she's got like all of this cosplay planned out, and she's really good at cosplay. Um, and she's been talking to me, like, she's been telling me about it for a long time. And, like, I knew that it was this weekend, but I kind of forgot. So it was funny, because I was just sitting on the bus, like, driving sort of close to the convention center. And I just started seeing people in costumes. Um, I saw Waldo and uh, a guy dressed as Flo from the Progressive commercials and Star Trek people and a bunch of characters who seemed kind of familiar, but whose names I don't know. I also saw some guys dressed up as uh, like characters from that swimming anime, and they were just wearing swimsuits, and it was funny because like I could tell that they were from that because I've seen pictures from that on my dash on Tumblr, and yeah, so that was cool. After I got off the bus, uh, I went to Starbucks to do some work, and I didn't get nearly as much done as I was planning on, um, but that's okay. I'll get it done this weekend. A not-so-cool part of my trip was uh, something that I had never encountered during any of my trips to Baltimore, and that was, um, I was on the bus, and I got on, and I, like, went sort of close to the back, because if you go to the back, then you don't have to deal with people, like, getting off and on, because I was going to be on the bus for a long time. So anyway, there was this guy sitting there, and he was talking to this woman, and we were, like, in the very back of the bus, and they were talking about stuff. And I was just about to, like, turn my music on when the guy started talking about, uh, like, the cosplayers. And he was insinuating using some not-so-nice words that all the people who do that are homosexuals. And it was just really weird, because, like, I was sitting there, and I was about to turn my music on, and then I didn't. Because I, I like, caught what this guy was, was saying. Um, and he was saying some not very nice things about gay men, and it was weird. Um, it was also weird because, like, I was wearing my pride bracelet at the time, and I was like, oh, hope that this guy doesn't notice that, because he seems very enthusiastic about his views about the gay lifestyle. Um, so that in itself wasn't really that frightening, like he was just saying kind of hilariously false things about gay men. Um, but then as he got up to leave the bus, like he got up, walked in front of me, and as he was walking in front of me, I noticed that he had uh, a foldable pocket knife on his pants. And like I've seen that kind of knife before, they're not for chopping vegetables, that's like if you anticipate a hand-to-hand -hand combat or self-defense situation, that is the kind of knife you have. So that was, that happened, that happened. Um, and I'm pretty sure that if I was like a man in this situation and for some reason he thought I was, like there would have been a situation. Uh, he was just that enthusiastic about his feelings. So that was interesting. Those are my roommates, by the way. Um, so that was interesting. Uh, yeah. I, again, I have never experienced anything like that before. Like, I have, but not, you know, going to and from Baltimore. So I've always felt, like, relatively safe in that respect. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, so that, that kind of was a downer a little bit. Um, so I got off the bus at my stop went back to my dorm room. I actually lucked out because like as soon as I got inside it started raining and thundering and that was my day. Um, it started off with me smiling from ear to ear just seeing all the cosplayers and then the whole bus thing happened and that kind of freaked me out. So yeah, um, I had, I guess if you average out my day, I guess it was, it was pretty good. Uh, I hope that you had a pretty good day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!